Well, it's November 6th here in Texas, so I don't even think the pre-rut has even started down here. Wade's been seeing them go between two good food plots, so we're going to set up in between them and on a ground blind and uh, see if we can't catch one coming off the bed and coming out to feed and see what happens. We're hunting on the ground about an hour and a half into the hunt. Good seven pointer walked out, good mature deer. He's probably six years old. Seven pointer, nice chocolate rack, good shooter. So we decided to um, harvest that deer. So I shot him just a little forward of the shoulder a bit and 300 mag Thompson Center, put him down right on the spot. When we hand our clients a Thompson Center Venture when they head down to the range, and that's going to be the gun that they're going to be shooting, there's, there's a great amount of confidence on our behalf because one, we've already put them personally through the, through the test. We've had a lot of success in our hunts and, you know, we've had guys fly all the way from Japan to go on their first hunt who have never shot a gun in their life that are shooting groups that are phenomenal. Right here, right oh, this one will go. That's where it pulls in. That's perfect. I mean, that's absolutely <laughs> so perfect. If you can do that on a deer, we'll find him within 100 yards. When I shot it, he jumped and he ran away. So I thought I missed it. I missed the first one. Gosh, I could have done much better, but I. But then friend told me that, no, 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 you got a good shot and a hard shot. But I didn't realize how good it was. That's yours. Shot to us, man. Right there, perfect, ah. perfect in the heart. This is like we practiced. That's right, big one that one. Look at this kicker here, big 10 point, actually 11 there. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so he has no pain, huh? No. Uh -uh. Sudden death, no. Huh? He was dead Sudden when he, death, yeah. he was dead before he even got out of that field when you make wow. a shot like that. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That's the bullet. That's where it went in. Oh, that's what you said, yes. Yeah, perfect heart. Really, perfectly. Look at that deer. Spot. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> That's right. That's where you're supposed to shoot them right there. That's perfect in the heart. They don't go very far. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good that was worth the flight from Japan. <laughs> a lot of the rifle hunts that we tend to do uh, really provide a wide range of shots. Now, me personally, I like to try to get everything situated where our shots are not gonna be more than 200 yards. A lot of times that's impossible, but I want our game within 200 yards. And there's a lot of reasons for that. One, it's kind of an ethical thing for me. I like to know that, that a first time hunter, when he decides to take the shot, uh, that rifle's gonna be at maximum performance in, in, in and around those ranges right there. It's gonna do what it needs to do. And it's not putting a ton of pressure on the, on the hunter to be able to do things that they've never done before. And when we do that, our success rate is very high. And I've always encouraged hunters, you know, whether I get a Facebook message or an email or I talk to somebody at a trade show, if you're not used to doing something at, at long distances or you've never shot a firearm in those conditions, whether it's kneeling, laying down, be very cautious, be very prepared before you go do that. Take the time to get ready because if you will, I promise you, a rifle like a Thompson Center Venture is going to pay off if you are ready to handle the shot.